Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a common challenge. It's about adding contact libraries. Specifically, we'll cover how to add them without using native access. Many users face issues with native access. It might not recognize your library. Or, you simply prefer a more manual approach. This video will guide you through that process. We'll cover finding your library folder. We'll show you how to manually add the library within contact. Get ready to unlock your sound libraries. Let's get started. First, locate your contact library folder. This is crucial. It's where all the instrument files reside. Typically, you'll find it where you installed the library. It might be on an external hard drive. Or, it might be in your default downloads folder if you haven't moved it. Once you've found it, remember the exact path. You'll need it for the next step. Second, open contact as a standalone application. Do not open it as a plugin within your DAW yet. This is important for the initial setup. Go to the Libraries tab in Contact. If you don't see it, make sure it's enabled in the View menu. Now, look for the Add Library button. It's usually at the bottom left of the Libraries panel. Click it. A file browser window will open. Navigate to the folder where your library is located. Select the Main Library folder. The folder should contain the .ning file. This file is essential. It tells contact about the library. If you don't see the .nig file, you might be in the wrong folder. Check that you're in the top-level library directory. After selecting the correct folder, contact should automatically add the library. It will now appear in your Libraries tab. You might need to restart contact for it to show up. After restarting, the library should be there. Now, you can use it within your DAW. Load Contact as a plugin in your DAW. The library should be available to load from the contact interface. If you still have problems, make sure your contact version is up to date. Sometimes older versions have compatibility issues with newer libraries. Also, check the library's documentation. It might have specific installation instructions. This manual method is effective for many libraries. It bypasses potential native access issues. You can now enjoy your new sounds. That's how to add contact libraries without native access. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found this information useful, please consider liking this video. Subscribe for more music production tips and tricks. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Every little bit helps support the channel. 